Fans across the state, a lack of referees brought on by bad behavior in the stands. And it's not just a problem here in Indiana. This month alone, an umpire in Mississippi was punched in the face by a mom. Enough is enough. And in Texas, another ump was shoved to the ground by a coach. When you see stories like this, you can understand why fewer people are flocking to this profession. As sports leagues work to address the problem, Lauren Costick speaks with officials who have experienced fear on the field firsthand. On a sunny spring day, high school baseball teams can't wait to hit the field. But recently, there's been one thing missing, umpires. We're filling the voids as best we can, but, you know, it's a numbers game at this point. You either have the bodies to match the number of games or you don't. And it's happening a lot, with multiple games being canceled this season. This year specifically has been the worst I've ever seen. I've been around, absolutely. Brent Hunt has been doing this for 19 years, saying fans have become more intense and too focused on scholarships. I think that's just a little too much expectation, too much pressure on the kids. It's taking the fun out of the game. And usually that pressure leads to outbursts, often directed to the one making the call. We literally, with... Two innings ago, we cleared an entire stadium, uh, and it was teams and umpires uh, on the field for the last two innings of the game. And the hostility is even happening in little leagues. Um, I had a uh, scorebook thrown at me one time. Yeah. And I, that was one of the first. Teresa Zimmerman has been an umpire for 25 years in New Pal, working with youth softball teams. Watch your kids play. Let them have fun. Let them learn the game, whether it's baseball or softball, because that's why we're here. Despite so many good memories, Teresa says it's still frustrating. But I've considered walking away. I really have. But she says it's the kids that keep her coming back. It's been fun. It's been a journey. It's been a fun journey. The kids that I meet, you know, you get to, they just stay within you. As fear on the field grows. Many officials are calling for legislation to better protect them, something dozens of states have done. Until then, they are hoping former athletes and parents can step up to the plate. All right, we're going to talk about the warm temps to come.